to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dress uh, someone sent it to me on instagram guys, guys please when you send me a picture please if you can try to send a clear picture so that i can also use it as a thumbnail please um this particular picture wasn't really clear but i i i can understand it's a, a screenshot from a video um so guys the uh how you're going to make this dress is just you can just get a basic bodice pattern so you see this basic bodice pattern i have here is just up to the chest up to like two inches after the chest line you basically you put in your shoulder measurement you put in the neckline the armhole right so the next thing you're going to do you see we have our three inches of neckline down here guys this video is basically to explain the tutorial to the person so i'm not trying to uh cut it here but i'm going to try to show you exactly every step that you will need to make it so guys remember on your basic bodies it is normally three inches width three inches depth so the next thing you're going to do is at this point of these three inches you're going to connect it into the armhole because it's like a halter neck right you're going to connect it this way and then the next thing you're going to do is to fold this part away so or cut it out so basically you're going to cut it out so let me let me fold it and so that you guys can see so guys this is basically the width of this here is just my bust measurement divided by four plus like seam allowance if you look here you will see the seam allowance here you see this is the seam allowance and guys this was cut on this i i think it's a silk or a satin no it's a silk so guys you're going to cut it on a bias so which means on a bias means it's going to be folded this way like this way so that's how you're going to cut it but except if you want it to be a full circle then you can pull it to the edge but if you're trying to not make it her own looks like an a line and then at the bottom it has some flay to it it doesn't look like a full circle so that's why i didn't move this up to this point and knowing that if you're cutting this on the silk fabric is by 60 so if you try to fold it to the very end you have a lot of flay at the bottom and that's not what we have on the picture so what i'm going to do is i folded it almost halfway through and left some room at the end so now all you have to do is to make sure you take your basic bodies and place it this way on the side pin it down this way and then you're going to try to um so now that pin this down this way i'm going to cut mark pin this down so guys this is what it would have looked like if i had it straight out right my basic bodies this is how i would have placed it the shoulder everything fits in here you will not try to push it to the very end just because you know the flay is supposed to start somewhere here a little bit not like pulling it to the end and then it's not going to look nice so just let it flow the way it, it anyhow it goes so this this way here as long as this beginning part is just placed properly but then looking at it from this part it's not it's still going to have a little bit of a line because that's the whole thing so i'm going to just go ahead and fold this part away again so that you guys can see and then the way it is now i'm going to just go ahead and so guys when you fold it make sure that this uh, this beginning part of it is to the body like it's at the very edge but even if this parts they don't fit in to the body it doesn't matter so guys the next thing we are going to do is if you look at her own you see it's short right so what you're going to do now is from the side here remember if you start cutting it this way then you're going to um it's, it's like shaping it in so what you're going to do is just to keep your ruler straight at the very end of this here and then you're going to draw a line so guys this is it you're going to just take your ruler and then you're going to mark it all the way straight down this way depending on the type of flay you want you can still spread it out if you want but i'm just going to keep it straight like this down and then the next thing you're going to do now is uh, on this top part here you're going to just go ahead and this this line i drew here is just to help me um mark the length i need so let's say the length i need here is about so let's say the length i need here is about 32 because if you look at her dress is short so what i need to do now is just to place it on this straight line and mark 32 all the way around so guys like i said this 32 and, and i just marked now guys remember to add your one inch and 
1.5 inches so that you need your half a, one inch of folding this edge and then the half an inch for joining this top part if you want you can just add the half an inch when you come up to this top part and then just know that it's one inch you're adding to whatever length and when you're marking the length remember that you have three inches already cut out from the shoulder right because this peak of this part started after the three inches of neckline so let's say you decide to use 36 you're going to subtract three inches that's your shoulder to wherever you want the length of this dress to be is 36. remember to subtract three inches from it because of the uh, neckline right this this doesn't go to your shoulder it starts from the strap so you're going to subtract that three inches there so once you subtract it it's going to be 33. so to that 33 you're going to add one inch of folding the edge and half an inch of joining the strap to this part so that's basically it at this point now all you have to do is to go from this line here cut your length go up to this point cut this part and then come up here and cut this half an inch here guys it depends on the fabric you're working with it might need to have a dart or if it if, if it doesn't if it needs to add a dart then you might just give it a small dart at the top here closer to your armhole just give it a small dart here like a straight line this way and then half an inch on both sides and just pinch it in this way so that way it will be gaping at the top part it depends on when you're done you'll see what it looks like if it flows down or if it might need a dart so guys after that now the next thing i have to do is like i said is to cut it out and then i'll show you guys how you're going to do the back panel guys to mark the back panel it is the same method just fold your fabric again into two right you're going to fold the fabric again into two and then you're going to go ahead and cut um so basically for the back panel what you're going to do this time around is your length is going to start somewhere here straight across like this your, your length is going to start straight this way so that's how your length is going to start that's half halfway to the bust because if you look at the back so the back of this coat is going to start as if you cut off this peak the only difference between the front and the back is that this top part here is out so it's folded away this way like is only just forget about this top part is going to go across the back this way on a straight line but guys if you want to make exactly what you have on the thumbnail when you go to pinions down use up the whole space here so that you can just put um so that you can just cut with um this same pattern the back and then you're going to put a side zip to it i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense but i'm going to show you guys what i'm saying here so guys after this now the next thing i'm going to do is to cut this out this way i'm showing you guys this on a miniature version right i just made a smaller one just so i can be able to cut it on this scrap fabric so now to cut the armhole i'm going to go ahead and cut off this part too you see everything is exactly the same you see the straight line i ruled here just to be able to cut in all the lengths so guys what i was trying to explain now is that for the back this is the body of this you see the peak of this exactly like how this one looks right this is exactly what we have here but exact except this is a shorter one you see the side goes this way the side here goes this way the neckline everything you see what it looks like before and just to compare the two so guys now what i have to do is just to like i like i was saying before to cut my back panel what i'm going to do now is just the same pattern but except i'm going to just rule a, a line across this way straight line across this way everything else is going to be the same so I basically fold this into two this way and then i'm going to cut a bottom part that looks like this this is going to be the back of my my bodice right exactly like this except i folded this away i'm going to cut exactly what looks like this for the back so guys this is what we are working with right now um so i'm going to unpin this so you guys can see so you see i folded it just so i can be able to cut out the back waist the back so now that i've cut it out i'm going to remove this so you guys can see you see the whole point here is that your side the all your sides needs to be the same length because that's where the front and the back will meet you see what it looks like here so basically this is going to be the front of this here going up this way you see this this pointed part here is going to be our the neckline where you're going to put the strap and then the back of it is going to have this one here going across this way starting from the waist so that's basically what this is supposed to look like guys the one i'm making here it depends on you right if you want to have yours fitted by the bust like how she has her own then you might want to bring this to the very edge of this clothes because remember when i 
put I, I put this here and pinned it down there was this there was some space here and that space is after my bust um, line which means this this other smaller one going through the back is going to have a lot of space that even if I put a zip at the side if I put a zip at the side because of this excess in front right it's not going to hug me enough but if i use elastic for the back of this one now it will hug closer because i just need a little elastic to pull it together i don't know if what i'm saying makes sense remember when we pinned this down right it had some space in front here right when we pinned it down and then if you decide to put zip at the side now it might not be able to hold uh hold it um together because of this excess on the on the side is not exactly your body measurement is what i'm trying to say so what you might do is to use elastic it depends on you because with this picture here i think there's a zip by the side so what i'm going to do is just basically at this point now you're going to need to use um cut a facing for this so and also cut a facing for the back so i'm going to show you guys how you're going to do that here like i said you're going to cut a bias for this so this is the um sorry not a bias like a facing so this is how i cut it because guys you're, you're trying to attach this very tiny strap because if you look at the peak of this here you see there's a very tiny strap there so you're going to cut a facing for that because if you use bias to join it it might move so it's better to use a facing for that so that once you're done you're going to take the two small straps put it at the very peak of this here and then cover it with this other one with, with the bias that you cut for it so let's say imagine that you put the two straps in between here like this just put it this is the very edge of this here right this is the edge here so you're going to put the two straps in between like this the two straps at this very edge here and then you're going to take it and sew it all the way close to this point here and then sew it down to this side here the same thing goes for the back you see what we have here i cut about just three inches or so on a on a human size you might need like three inches or four inches of uh width it depends on you what you want exactly like the width of this hair and then what i did what i'm going to do now is just to open it up this way this is the right side of it and then i'm going to take this here this way and then sew the edge this way close after sewing it i'm going to fold it in inside guys that's why i was saying you can use this as a casing for an elastic or you can try to put in a zip whichever one that works for you is fine so once once you sew this close now you can take it here close up the side one side close it or close and then the other side you can close it all the way from the edge and then leave about 10 inches depending on the length of your elast of your zipper and then you can go ahead and put in a zipper next to it and then if you're trying to use elastic you can even use this casing that we've made here and then just pass your elastic in between and just sew it down it depends on whichever one you're trying to make you can always manage uh, to make that guys like i said before this is a, a, um, a picture someone sent me on instagram so i can only give you like what how i would make it if i'm making it for myself so that's basically how i'm going to do that so guys another thing is how you're going to make that tra tiny strap so if you're trying to make the tiny strap you're going to try to cut it the same way on a bias like the way the fabric this angle not like the part where it's stiff the angle the part that stretches you're going to cut out your strap like use one inch width one inch width is okay so that you can get that very tiny strap you cut it cut it out sew it close so that you can be able to flip it i'm going to show you guys what you're going to use to flip it out you can use a safety pin or you can even use a sewing machine needle or a sewing needle just close up the edge and then use that sewing needle to pass it like a loop instead of using like a pen if you use a pen it will be too wide that means that the, the the casing you're making is still very big but if you use a safety pin a machine needle or a sewing needle then you know that the casing you're trying to make will be a very tiny one it might take time to turn it over but just manage it that way and turn it over and then that's how you're going to get the strap you're going to put at the edge of this so i'm going to do mine now and bring it back so you guys will see what this looks like this strap is supposed to be tied at the back of the neck so you're going to tie it however you want and then it's going to drop at the back is a very tiny strap put at the very edge of this here so you tie it and then it drops at your back like this so that's basically how it's going to look it here you see i've ironed everything down like i said this is what the back looks like 
right so if, you, if you're wearing it now it will just flow down here with a little bit of gather that's why i said if you don't want it to look almost like a circle dress with too much gather don't turn the angle around to the very end just give it enough angle that will give you enough flare at the bottom like when you start to cut it don't try to push the angle to the very end edge of your fabric especially when you're working with silk that might be cut by 60. this illustration was made with a cara that is cut by 45 so it depends on you how much play you want at the bottom of yours guys when you close up the sides you might find that the opening here might be enough for you you might not need to use elastic or if you need to use elastic, like I said before, we already have the facing at the inside. You might just want to make like a stitch here, maybe one inch stitch here, and then just put elastic inside of it and close it up on both edge. One of the edge of the elastic is here, one of the, just to help pull everything together. That's after you test it out, or you can try to use a zipper by the side. This is your seam allowance here. You can just put in a zip instead halfway through to close up, facing up that way. So that's basically my explanation for this top based on how I see it. If you have any question or any suggestion, please leave it in the comment section. And thank you guys so much for your time. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.